Now we move to our last problem on the worksheet. And this is E plus F equals G. So I've got known values for E, and I've got known values for G, but I don't know F. So rather than immediately plugging in my values for E and G, let's go ahead and do some algebra on the vector equation. And when I do that, in order to get F by itself, I'm going to subtract E over to the other side. Now, it doesn't really matter if I say F equals G minus E or G minus E equals F. Same thing, depending on what you're doing with the algebra, but I'm moving the E over so I can find F by itself. Once I've done that algebra, then I can come in and plug in my values. So I'll put in my actual thing for G and E. So there's my G vector values and my E vector values. We're going to do the same sort of thing where you take the I parts and group them together and the J parts and group them together. So I left with 4.2 minus 1.2 listed as my I component. And then the 4.7 minus the 7.4 for my J component. And when you do that math, you should come up with your final answer. So this is what F is equal to. So in the end, just to make everything nice and clear on my worksheet, I might clearly indicate my final answer that the vector f is equal to 3.0 i hat minus 2.9 j hat.